In this presentation, we're going to talk about temperature, thermal energy, and heat. Though they are related and have many similarities, they are also different. Let's talk about each one in more depth. Let's start with temperature. Temperature is often confused with heat, but really is something different. The technical definition of temperature is the average kinetic energy of the particles of matter. But what does this really mean? Temperature is just a measure of how hot something is. When particles of matter move more quickly, they have more kinetic energy, so their temperature is higher. With a higher temperature, matter feels warmer. When particles move more slowly, they have a less kinetic energy on average. So their temperature is lower. With the low temperature, matter feels cooler. Temperature is measured with the thermometer. Let's talk a little more about how temperature is measured. There are three scales that do this. The longest lived of the temperature scales is Fahrenheit. It was created by Gabriel Fahrenheit in 1724. He created a scale with three fixed points, two of which we still use today. He found the normal freezing point of water is at 32 degrees and the boiling point is at 212. This is only used in a few countries today, including US. Next is Celsius. It is called a centigrade temperature scale. It is based on zero for freezing and 100 for boiling. It is used in most countries today, especially those that use the metric system and also in the science field. Lastly, is a measurement of Kelvin. It is called the Thermodynamic Temperature Measurement System. It was designed by Lord Kevin Barron in 1824. He defined zero as the absolute zero, meaning all movement and particles stop. This is mostly used in the physical sciences world. Let's move on to thermal energy. Thermal energy is defined as the total kinetic energy of moving particles. Anything that is moving has kinetic energy. And the faster it is moving, the more kinetic energy it has. The total kinetic energy of moving particles of matter is called thermal energy. It's not just hot things that have thermal energy. All matter has thermal energy, even matter that feels cold. That's because the particles of all matter are in constant motion and have kinetic energy. Thermal energy takes into account the mass, how much stuff is inside the object. Let's take a minute to think about these similarities and differences. What has more thermal energy, the iceberg or the fire? Think in terms of mass. What has the most inside? The iceberg, so the iceberg has more thermal energy. Now, in terms of temperature, which has the highest temperature? The fire is hotter, so it has the higher temperature. Last but not least, let's talk heat. Heat is the transfer of thermal energy between substances. As particles are given energy, heated, their atoms move faster and faster. They begin to bump into the atoms besides them and transfer energy to those atoms which cause them to move faster. Thermal energy always moves from matter with greater thermal energy to matter with less thermal energy. So it moves from warmer to cooler substances. Thermal energy is transferred in this way until both substances have the same thermal energy and temperature. Faster moving particles of the warmer substance bump into and transfer some other energy to slower moving particles of the cooler substance. Important thing to read with heat is that it is all about energy, not temperature as you may have previously thought. Thanks for watching.